Ever wondered what it's like to drive into the future? Could the 2025 Hyundai Ioniq 5 be the electric SUV that changes everything? Today, we dive deep into Hyundai's electric marvel, the Ioniq 5, an SUV as sleek as a hatchback with the heart of an eco-warrior. This isn't just another electric vehicle, it's a glimpse into the future of motoring. From its lightning-fast charging capabilities to its eye-catching design, the Ioniq 5 is making waves. If you're curious to see why this could be the electric SUV of your dreams, stay tuned. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join us in this electrifying journey. The Ioniq 5 is part of Hyundai's electric lineup, which includes the Kona electric SUV and the Ioniq 6 sedan. It's the largest electric SUV the brand offers, but not for long. The all-new three-row Ioniq 9 SUV is expected to debut toward the end of 2024. The Ioniq 5 is one of our highest-rated electric SUVs. It's about the size of a Tucson, but looks more like a sleek hatchback than an SUV. Except for the new high-performance Ioniq 5N model, separately reviewed on Edmunds, we expect a few changes for 2025. The most affordable SE standard range model has an EPA-estimated driving range of 220 miles. That's a little, but all other models with a single motor, rear-wheel drive, provide a lengthy 303-mile range, and dual-motor all-wheel drive models are rated at 220 miles. Those are competitive numbers, but not class-leading. Where the Ioniq 5 outperforms its rivals is its ability to charge quickly at DC fast charging stations. Hyundai says it can charge from 10% to 80% in 18 minutes. The Ioniq 5 proved to be one of the quickest charging EVs in the Edmunds EV charging test. However, it would help if you connect it to a powerful 350 kilowatt station for the best results. There's a vibrant field of rivals to consider when exploring alternatives to the Ioniq 5, a stellar electric SUV. At the forefront, you have the Ford Mustang Mach-E and Tesla Model Y, both formidable contenders in their own right. The Volkswagen ID.4 is an attractive option on a more budget-friendly note. Pay attention to the Kia EV6, which is closely related to the Ioniq 5 and boasts a slightly extended range. Suppose you're scouting for something smaller and easier on the wallet. In that case, the Hyundai Kona Electric and Kia Niro EV are worth a look. Each offers a unique blend of features that cater to diverse needs and preferences in the bustling electric vehicle market. What's it like to drive the Ioniq i5? Jumping behind the wheel of this EV, you'll find it's a breeze to get comfortable with, making it a top pick for everyday driving. We tested the dual electric motor variant and were impressed by its firm grip and swift, smooth acceleration. Clocking a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in a mere 4.7 seconds, it just nudges past the Tesla Model Y long range by a hair. Tesla did it in 4.8 seconds. It even leaves a similar Ford Mustang Mach-E model trailing in its dust. Cruising around town feels effortless thanks to its silky smooth ride. Plus, you can tweak the regenerative braking system to your liking. This feature slows the vehicle when you ease off the accelerator and helps juice up the battery. Transitioning to the standard brakes? It's so seamless you might not even notice. An unexpected bonus is the Ioniq 5's agile handling. It's a blast to zip through curves, adding excitement to your drive. Just how cozy is the Ioniq 5? This car smooths out the bumps and dips on the road with such ease that even the roughest patches barely disturb the calm inside the cabin. It ranks as one of the most serene rides in its category. The front seats? They're plush yet offer ample support. One of our testers spent eight hours driving with zero gripes about comfort. The climate control system efficiently maintains a pleasant environment inside, making keeping the cabin at just the right temperature simple. Additionally, the Ioniq 5 is remarkably quiet. Often, the gentle hum of the climate control fans is the only sound you'll notice. Both road and tire noise are impressively muted, and it's only at higher speeds that wind noise begins to make itself known. What's it like inside the Ioniq 5? While the car's outer design might turn heads, its interior keeps things surprisingly traditional. 
If futuristic flair is what you're after, there might be other picks. The dual screen setup is clear cut in looks and usability, and easy for anyone to master without navigating a steep electric vehicle learning curve. The simplicity continues throughout the cabin, which offers ample room for adults both front and back. The rear seats offer space and recline, letting passengers relax in almost total quiet while on the move. However, it's not all perfect. The car's broad front view contrasts sharply with the obstructive thick pillars at the back, which can create significant blind spots. Opting for the available surround view camera system could be a smart move to mitigate this issue. What's the tech like in the Ionic 5? This car packs a solid lineup of tech features, most of which come standard. Highlighting the bunch is Highway Driving Assist 2, a sophisticated blend of enhanced adaptive cruise control and lane-keeping assistance designed to ease driving strain and minimize collision risks. While effective in many situations, these aids aren't foolproof across all driving conditions. Additionally, the Ionic 5 integrates Hyundai's Blue Link app, giving owners the power to manage various functions remotely. Preheat or cool the cabin, set charging schedules, or locate charging stations, all from your smartphone. Plus, you'll find seamless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. The infotainment system, centered around a responsive 12.3-inch touchscreen, is intuitive, making it easy for new users to adapt quickly. How does the Ionic 5 stack up for storage? It could be better when it comes to cargo capacity. The back offers just 27.2 cubic feet behind the second row, trailing behind the Mach-E and Tesla Model Y, which boast more practical front trunks. The Ionic 5's front trunk is so compact, it barely fits the included charging cable. The rear seats fold flat on the brighter side, making it easier to slide in longer items. The cabin has plenty of nooks for storing bottles, wallets, and phones, adding to the practicality. The sliding center console is a nifty feature, though its usefulness might raise an eyebrow or two. For those with little ones, the car seat anchors are readily accessible, and the rear seat's recline and slide capability simplifies reaching the top tether points. Plus, generous legroom in the back means installing a rear-facing safety seat doesn't have to cramp the front seat space. What's the performance like? According to the EPA, Ionic 5 AWD we tested delivers a decent 256 miles on a full charge, using 34 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. Although this doesn't top its main rivals, it performs well in real-world conditions. In our tests, it stretched to 270 miles per charge, improving its efficiency to 30.9 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. Despite falling short of the 300-mile mark achieved by the Tesla Model Y and Ford Mustang Mach-E, it outdid the Mach-E in terms of energy efficiency. The Model Y remains the class leader in this aspect. Notably, the Ionic 5 supports the latest 350 kilowatt hour fast chargers, making it one of the quickest to recharge among competitors, outpacing even the Mach-E and Volkswagen ID.4 in Edmunds tests. Is the Ionic 5 worth your bucks? You could find cheaper EVs, but the Ionic 5 stands out in the value stakes. First, Hyundai's craftsmanship is top-notch. Our test drive was smooth without a single creak or rattle. Hyundai's stellar warranty, robust performance, and a generous suite of standard features make it an even more tempting pick. This car delivers solid bang for your buck, ensuring you get what you pay for and then some. Which Ionic 5 do we suggest? Currently, Hyundai still needs to unveil the 2025 Ionic 5 details. We'll keep you posted on any updates. However, reflecting on last year's lineup, the SEL model gets our nod. It's a slight step up in price, but packs a punch with its extras. On top of the basic SE features, the SEL throws in synthetic leather seats, a wireless phone charger, rear air vents, and an upgraded highway driving assist system. If all-wheel drive isn't a must, consider the single-motor rear-wheel drive version. It boasts a longer range, making it an efficient choice for the road. Could this be the electric SUV that convinces you to go green? Drop your thoughts and any questions you might have in the comments below. 
we would love to hear what you think. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more insights and updates. Drive into the future with us. Subscribe now.